What's up, COL? What's going on, America? How you doing? How you doing? How's your day going? How's your day going? Hopefully, smooth as ice. Smooth as... Oh, shoot. <laughs> glass of milk or something. No, no, no. I'm just talking to How you doing, C-O-L? How you doing, America? It's your man, C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm beat. But I'm glad to be on my own two feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, today... It's nice out. It's nice. It's nice. It's about 87. Uh, and it's your man, C. Mill. Uh, I don't know. I'm tired today. I ain't gonna lie. I did just say that, but I am tired. But today we will go into why people fear the storm. You know what I'm saying? Some people fear the storm, but it ain't the storm that'll kill you. It's your fear that'll kill you. It's your fear of the storm that'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? Your fear of the storm, your fears that kill you off. Not the storm itself. The storm is going to do what it's going to do, which is going to come to pass. It's going to pass by. It's going to come and it's going to go. Some people might get washed out. Some people's house might get battered or tattered. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, some people, when it's a real bad storm, some people might, they might pass on to the next life. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it's your fears. You know what I'm saying? It's your fear that helps deplete you in a storm. You know what I'm saying? It's your fear in the storm that helps you to be scared to make a move, scared to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? It gets you frustrated, riled up. It's the fear. You know what I'm saying? It's the fear. You know what I'm saying? Don't if you don't comply to the fear, then you have nothing to worry about. The only thing you have to fear is fear itself. You know, I don't know. I pray against fear. I can't do the fear thing. You know what I'm saying? Like when you was younger and stuff, that was enough. But at this point, I don't think it's not too much that really gets my goat to make me scared. You know what I'm saying? If I'm, if I'm upset or fear seem like I'm, you know what I'm saying, coming apart, then, you know, it's probably really bad. But other than that, I don't. I didn't face the all I didn't face a lot of stuff that half of y'all would. You know, fuck with. I ain't saying half of my sigma or alpha men or women or my empathic people. I'm talking about the narcissists. The narcissists will buckle at most of the stuff that we've been through. The narcissist's biggest fear is going through some of the stuff that we have been through. You know what I'm saying? They they couldn't take it. They won't be able to take it. They won't make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only thing that we'll do is fake it. You know? We don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? We got to march through. That's what we got to march do, through and do what we got to do because we ain't got time for it. We got to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the narcissists, they... they some of them don't care, and then some of them got it in life and set it up where they can move off of minimal energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they lay, you remember, remember, narcissists are lazy. So they want to move off the barest minimum amount of energy or input that they could put into it. But then they might encourage you to not to, you know, for you to quit your job and not to get a job and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, misery love company. But I can't afford to do that because 
I have to keep thriving because I got so many things I'm trying to do, so many things and goals I'm trying to reach. So I don't even think about stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Calling off or not going to work or I don't know. That ain't even on my DNA because I ain't no lazy, toxic mother. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, fear, you know, I'm not scared to go put in eight, ten hours or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Fear is that fear that people have, like the laziness and the fear of, you know what I'm saying, exerting their energy or doing, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain that part, but it's, it stems from fear, though, the laziness, you know what I'm saying, of having to, to, to do something, to own up to something, to have some form of responsibility. That all stems from fear. You know what I'm saying? What if I mess up? What if I can't do it? What if I don't feel like going? But you make yourself not you make yourself not feel like not going more when you keep harping on it and saying it and dwelling on it and then it's like it's some big task or something. It ain't no big task. Give up off your ass and get some get some cash. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. But you know what I'm saying? I can't I don't I want to move forward. I want to go forward. I want to accomplish things. I want to get things done, you know, so I don't think about like not going or not, you know, I just, I don't know. But anyway, back to the, to, to the subject at hand is the fear, the fear itself. You know what I'm saying? It's not the storm that grasps you. It's the fear, which makes most people, you know what I'm saying? Not make it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all the narcissist lives off of is putting fear into your mind, into your heart by falsifying fossil, fossil, fossil a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they'll make illegal documents saying that they're real. They'll do all types of stuff just to get in your head to stump you from going on. And if anything stops you from moving forward, it is stemmed out of fear. You feel me? They put that fear in your mind, said that fear in your heart. It says that the devil uh scurries about looking for those that he can devour so that must mean that there are some that he can't devour that's covered by the blood of jesus christ you know what i'm saying i want to be in that realm always where the toxic person can't devour me the toxic person can't even think about going up against me because i try to do and keep myself in the right mode to where i could be highly favored and blessed all the time you know what i'm saying that's why i say try to follow the 10 and you'll win if you try to follow them 10 commandments man you'll be straight it ain't even hard you know what i'm saying because i mean most of us that's anywhere towards my age man we didn't did a lot of stuff a lot of dirt you know what i'm saying and i wish that i had a clearer mind when i was younger so that i could be i could be more successful now you know what i'm saying but it's all with due time and that's why i'm saying most of us got to teach the younger but teach them right don't think you can't teach them nothing about doing the right way because you they gonna think that you jive or think you corny or nothing man you better go for it you know and teach them what you know go for what you know because big mama and them ain't here no more you know what i'm saying grandma granddaddy you know what i'm saying auntie judy auntie, uncle james all them type of the older people that come from the old school they all gone big mamas and clarence browns and all that stuff they all gone you know what i'm saying they all gone so we got to make sure you know what i'm saying that we teaching the ones you know what i'm saying the you know what i'm saying the gene millers and sarah millers and emma Mill you know what i'm saying i'm the ones from my camp but you know what I'm saying? They all gone. So I'm saying the ones that are, that are knowledgeable and full of wisdom that are still here, you know what I'm saying? Try to try to uh, he, try to listen to them. You know what I'm saying? The Michael Dukes and the, the Bobby Millers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Try to listen to what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? And try to incorporate, make that applicable and make incorporate that into your life. And then so you along with the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus in the Bible is the wisest, but it's other people that's here that's wise, that's come from life experiences and stuff. You can listen to them and get, you know what I'm saying, an edge on life or get something different out of it or a different perspective that can put you over the top. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Don't let fear grasp you. You know what I'm saying? It's the fear of the storm. You know what I'm saying? It's not the storm itself that's going to take you out. It's you living in fear. You know what I'm saying? And you mess around and slip up and fall out the 
you know, window or something, you know, I'm just saying when you in fear, you can't move right. You can't act right. You can't think right. And it's going to lead to your demise. You know what I'm saying? That's what Satan tries to use. That's what toxic people try to use. That's what the narcissists try to use. They're all tied into Beelzebub. They're all tied into Satan. So they all are on one accord, just like you got the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, Jesus Christ, Jehovah Jireh, and they are the Trinity. They are all on one accord. Just that's the same with Satan, Beelzebub, and the demons and all the other names and it's demons names that you shouldn't even say in your house and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they that saturated with evil. And they come from the old, 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 old days. I think before the days of cavemen and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the old days. Right after he made the firmament of the earth and all that stuff. So some stuff don't play with. Like witchcraft and stuff and Hinduism and voodoo and stuff. You should never play with that stuff. Never mess with that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this your man C. Mill. C from the D. Keep it coming at you with everything that's real. Hey. Do good, breathe good, and we think good so we can receive good blessings. That's it. If you stay on that, you'll be fine. So this your man, C-Man. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in, man. I'll holler at y'all, man. Peace.